Right, another variation on that theme is what I would call the wafter rig, or also known as the KD rig. Now my preference for this one is to use a, a straight point intern eye hook, like the Drennan Specialist Barber hook, so a good strong hook. Uh, this rig is all about prickability and separation, so essentially what you want is a nice straight point. More often than not, I use this hook link, which is suffix cam fusion. This is in the 15 pound braking strain, it's a lovely hook link, it's got a really nice dark green coat in this one, it's got a nice supple braid inside. So you strip down probably about three inches like that. I'm doing it with my teeth, which you shouldn't do. Use a braid stripper if you can. Like I say, the braid inside is lovely and soft, I really like this one. Now it's got a nice little flex through it, but it's never let me down. So what you do, wet the end of the hook link. You fed the hook link from the inside through to the outside of the eye. So snip off the required hook link length, again probably about seven or eight inches in this case. Now what you do, it's a little bit like the no knot rig, just a slight variation as I say, you go one, two, keeping it nice and tight, move the hair back and you do a further five in this case, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, keeping it tight at all times like the last time. You don't want to wrap the knot on top of itself, you want to wrap up the shank of the hook, keeping it tight at all times. You take your tag end of your hook link, pass it through the outside of the eye, back inside, like so. Pull it quite tight, let the knot down a little bit, so as you can see, in this case, instead of the hair leaving right up the top end of the knot, it leaves nearer the, the eye of the hook. Once you've mounted your wafter bait on there, whatever it may be, a balanced boilie, or in this case I'm going to use a grain of maize and a grain of fake corn because it's a nice little delicate presentation. And once it goes into the fish's mouth, it goes in together but then once it's in the mouth, it separates, allowing the hook to drop and pivot and hopefully hooking the fish when he tightens into the lead. So this is one of my favourite rigs and this is a rig I've caught a lot of fish out of Sandhurst on. Um, more often than not on this maize variation, sometimes I use a little bit of gardener zig foam between the fake corn and the maize just to balance it out that little bit more. Uh, sometimes I use it with one grain of corn and two grains of maize, like a little maize stacker rig, which is one of my real favourites at this time of year, like high summer. I've quite often found that fish will snap at like little bits of yellow, fished in conjunction with PVA bags. Quite often I use it with a tiny little bag, two grains of the PVA friendly maize from Cotswold, uh, and like one crumbled up tutti fruity in there just for a bit of smell, and that's something I've caught a hell of a lot of fish out of Sandhurst on, and other waters in fact. Basically, you want the grain of maize to touch where the, the shank of the hook starts meeting the bend of the hook at that point. So all you need to do is get your bait on a baiting needle, put your grain of fake corn on there, I'm a real fan of the old plastic baits, really good, and then a grain of a nice juicy grain of maize on there, put them on there like so. You offer it up to the hair, like so, and then you determine how long you want your hair to be. So as you can see, I'm forming the loop there. I offer the bait up, the hair's slightly too long, so I need to pull the tag end slightly, making the hair shorter. Offer it up again, and as you can see, that's perfect. So all you need to do is just tie the loop, as before, simple overhand loop knot, Using a bait needle, pull the loop through, like so, and there you have it. Perfect. Nice little hair, nice little, little neat loop. Once again, snip the tag off using the old braid blades. As you can see, it goes through first time. Good old pair of scissors they are. It's a simple case pulling the hair through the bait like this, 
getting yourself another boily stock putting that through the loop pushing the bait up towards the boily stock snipping it off with your other pair of scissors and there we have it that's the wafter rig now that rig right there it just sits beautifully essentially when it sits on the bottom the hook's laying flat on the bottom like so and your little uh, wafter presentation is sitting above it it goes in and then upon entering the mouth drops down and allows the hook to locate somewhere in the bottom lip but quite often this one works as well upon ejection it seems like once it goes in and they, they're sucking and spitting out food and um, because of the separation it can spin and I've hooked fish all over the mouth like left uh, right uh, top all around the top of the mouth so it's a real good one that one is again it's lovely and simple because simplicity is the key you don't want to be sitting there for hours on end having to tie up rigs especially at night you want to be able to tie up a few rigs that are ready to go just in case you do get a fish or do blunt in your hook now again I'm extremely paranoid about my hook points. After each cast, especially on quite gravelly waters, I tend to just te test the point and make sure it's still sharp. So it's something that you should always bear in mind. It's not about the Super Fandango rigs. It's about a good sharp hook and the right size of hook in relation to your hook bait choice. For example, as I said, it's a size 9 barbel hook there with it, like the grain of maize and the, and the grain of fake corn and that's perfectly balanced you wouldn't want too big a hook on there like a you know a, a size six called a wide gape or a bigger barbel hook because it would be unbalanced the hook would basically affect your hook bait unnecessarily so you've always got to think about a, a, a balanced presentation and that's a good little presentation like I said tie up a, like a little stick bag a bit of crumb in there something like that and once again that one will catch your carp all day long the wafter rig